So I'm on a big commercial site at the moment, big construction site, and had a few changes. Had to drop into another site. So I had to put together this kit on the fly, but I was very impressed with how it went today. I wanted to show you guys what I did. So if you didn't already know, I am a commercial Sparky electrician, and I've tried so many setups, and I've shown a lot of them. They've all been really good, but this one was just thrown together, and I was very impressed. It is the Fluke bucket. I've done a review in the past. I did a few setups. Hadn't really used it full time, but this setup just fit really, really snug with a few of the new tools that I'm using as well. So starting off, fluke bucket, you've got the, the main handle. I did have to walk a bit of a distance. I actually jumped on the scooter with it. It's, it could be better, definitely digs in. It's not very thick. So I would like to get something a little bit more suitable for your shoulders, but yeah, it is what it is with that. It, de it definitely gets the job done though. So then you've got the normal handle, so you can use it just like a normal bucket. I clip on my helmet to the side there. That works really well. Then on the side, we've got the bit holders. I did end up using these, which I'm really glad I put them on there because these sort of jobs are hard to figure out exactly what I'm gonna need. I wasn't given that much information. All I was told was I'm going to install a temp board and run it off the existing tenancy board. So not too much info and you never know what exactly to pack. So yeah, I just threw those in. So yeah, ended up using those. What else do we have? The small, didn't use that, but we did use that. Uh, the Unilight, that does fit in these pockets really well. And this is definitely a mast when it comes to switchboards. Just because how strong the magnets are, and then you can move it into place. I used it all day. We did have to shut down the power and it's extremely bright this. Absolutely love it. So then under that, got the conduit cutters. I've shown shorts about these. Oh, I think I just locked it. And this does cut your Coro conduit really well. And what I really like about it is how much smaller it is compared to something like this. These are obviously the larger pair, you get smaller pairs, but just finding somewhere where it can fit into a bag, they're just massive, too big. Usually I'm only using 25, 32, that, yeah, not, not even 16. So that's absolutely perfect, fits in there. You've got the Fluke meter, the T6 1000 fits in there nicely then around the other side just have some sds bits used those i did take my hammer drill in as well so that's not here but that is something else i brought as well as the fluke jelly bean tester uh, that got dropped on the site but yeah had those in there these ones uh just multi bits so you can use those on whatever they're always good to throw in i've got some security bits in there I just threw that in. Wasn't sure if I'd actually use it, but nice and light, throw it in. And if you haven't seen these, these are the Marks Mate, and they're used for marking. I think this one's out. So it wouldn't have been any use anyway. Don't leave these lying around for too long. They, they may only have a lifespan of like a year. I had a knife, had the Fluke RCD tester. Didn't get to use that though. Through the Hilti battery, just in the side there. Um, and then we go to the inside. Got the plaster saw. It's got my sheath on it. We've got the Nipex. More Nipex there. Didn't use those ones, but did use these. So I'm glad I threw those in. All the NX bits. That's the Flatty, Phillips, and then the two small ones. Used all of these today. So they fit in there. Perfect. Another knife, don't know why I had to. And then on the other side, just my pliers, my NWS. These are the 225 mil. The needle nose pliers, Knipex, Nipex. The larger, some people call them crompers, I think. Is that what they call them in the UK? These are just parrot beaks used for cutting mains. So I cut up, I think it was 16 mil. They, I don't even know where I got these. I think I found them. I think they're Crescent maybe. HKP, whatever that is. These are still going pretty hard. They're really sharp. We've got the solar level, metal level. And then we've got 
uh, we'll do that pocket last. So this all fit, extremely snug, extremely nice. It's all hilty as well. So we've got the socket set. It is the Weera Zyklop. So it is a rebranding of that, but I take this pretty much everywhere now. And it looks like we got one missing. I think, is it a 10? <laughs> I think, nah, it's not the 10. Ten, eleven, twelve. We got thirteen. I think that is the ten. You're bloody kidding. Um, I'm pretty sure that is at work in my pack out, so don't worry. So definitely don't want to mess up that kit. Didn't actually use that, but when doing switchboards, you never know. And then we fit these in very nicely. Oh. The Hilti Impact. And then the hammer drill. What else? And then, yeah, down here. These come absolutely everywhere with me. I did a video on these a while ago. I might even link it at the end if you want to see that. But these are the alpha bits, step drill bits. These have gone so hard. I've used them on everything. Used them today. I'm so glad I threw that in there. And then, last but not least, Step bit, that's from Alpha as well. This thing goes absolutely hard. It's almost too good. It pulls pulls in. Must be that spiral shape. Uh, what else? Just got another socket. Don't know what that's doing in there. But yeah, that's, that's the setup. If you haven't seen, it's got like a rubbery bottom. Your tape measure holder there. So I did have my tape measure in there. Normally doesn't go there because it just gets in the way, so. It's got the hard bottom, waterproof. It's a good little setup. Nice for sort of like a throw bag. When you're just doing this sort of stuff, throw all those in there. That's why I used them, because I could throw all that in there. If you really wanted, you could probably fit an iPad in there. I don't know if you wouldn't fit a laptop. But one thing I think I talked about last time on a video is I would like some smaller pockets just for all these sort of tools. But can't have everything you could maybe maybe have them on the side here rather than some of the bigger ones the bigger ones are good but yeah i do like the precision ones those really small tight ones but once again once you've got this over your shoulder it does have the padding but once you've loaded it up and you're going to walk 500 meters it it really does start to dig into you so i would really like to see if i can find another strap if i do i'll let you know but yeah, absolutely love that setup. I absolutely rate it. Let me know what you guys think.